YouTube kittens, this is Kevin Cat, and today I'm going to introduce to you some of the Sailor Moon goods that you could only get at the Sailor Moon exhibition in Roppongi and that were sold out so quickly that even most of the Japanese people couldn't get them. Now let's check out the Sailor Moon exhibition special limited items. I'm going to start at the simplest one and then I'm going to work towards the most rarest and then the most rarest one that no one could get and that they are not even redoing really anymore. Simplest one I'm going to start with for is actually my hand. <laughs> These ones are little keychains that you could get when you were there of every Sailor Senshi. It had Naoko's design on one side. Actually, I've been really, really thinking a lot who I should pick and in the end I went with Neptune because I used to be Neptune. Uh, when I did Sailor Moon uh, cosplay musical stuff like that. Yeah, I used to do that. I was in a musical group and we did Sailor Moon. This is my coming out now. Now you know. One day I should tell you all the truth, but that's not gonna be happening today. Let's start. Which back shall I go first? First, that's a bit of a haul actually. Well, let's go with this one. So again, uh, all the bags had Sailor Moon exhibition written on it and unfortunately it finished in June. But uh, let's get this out. I was good didn't open it until now so here you can see this is definitely Naoko's design as you can see and she made this one and a couple of other designs specifically for the exhibition and you can get that as a clear file or could take it home with you so this was this was the design obviously it has your uh, the outer senshi and the inner senshi on it and that's why I really wanted to have it a uh, very lovely design the rest I shall zoom in now so you can see the product better Ibusa, Sailor Moon. Hmm. <laughs> Uranus and Neptune. And Jupiter up here. Number one! Ta da! Is this little Serenity figure that was sold out again on the very first day and then afterwards it was, it's still really hard to get a hold of it. It's from the Pitikara series, but this one is a limited color edition of her. You can see how she's looking. She's so cute. Again, it says Sailor Moon on the back of it. Um, and that's the whole design of her. Isn't she absolutely adorable? I have the Pichika Sakara series up there on my shelf, but I didn't have um, Princess Serenity yet. So that was that will definitely complete my little collection here of the other Pichikaras that you're here on my on my shelf. So I love that lovely silver pattern that she has here. Definitely, definitely very, very cute. Okay, let's take her out for you. I think just showing her for you in the package is a bit mean. So let's get her out. Ooh, ooh, ah, I want to keep this pretty. Please open pretty. Please open pretty. Oh, no, it won't open pretty because it's all like... Okay, finally got it. Here we are. One, two, three. Let's get you out, princess. Ooh, and there she is. So cute! Open! Open sesame! Oh no! Why is this all taped closed so much? And that's how she looks when you take her off! Look at that lovely color! So cute! Oh, Real gem to have! Next limited item that was sold out pretty much on the first day and after that really hard to get hold of are this one! It's the Moonstick Rapongi Edition! So it has the Sailor Moon from, symbol from the Rapongi edition on and you, have, you can see the skyline of Rapongi and again it says the exhibition of Sailor Moon here on it on the side it's like this and on the back it has just the explanation that it's the Rapongi edition and it says Rapongi heels from the time the exhibition was happening so yeah uh, that one was again really hard to get hold of uh, and that one is actually a remake of this one that you can see behind me, the Moonstick. So you can see they made it just fancier and shinier than the Moonstick that I have here. Uh, so that's a special edition again, just for uh, the Roppongi event. Again, sold out super quickly. Still hard to get a hold of. It's, I think it's on order right now, so you might be able to order it in. So yeah, a bit shinier than the other one. The other one is actually just a Gashapon one, like the other ones. So the ones, the kind of little Gashapon machines. So, but this one is actually properly packed up and all. Again, lovely, and it wasn't too expensive. I think it was 500 or 600. Okay, next one. We're gonna go to the main thing that is the hardest to get hold of. I already took that one off, but that one I need to actually show you 
<laughs> show you because this one actually here is for show you which is Japanese soy sauce and you go what soy sauce yes so this is actually a soy sauce container apparently so uh, the most fanciest soy sauce container you'll probably ever see you can see it goes in here and it looks like a thing where you put perfume in but actually this one is Sailor Moon so once you actually it show you so soy sauce up onto here uh, you can see her better right now you can't see her so well but once you put a liquid in that is dark you'll be able to see the uh, usagi a lot better and then again um there's a hole in here so you should be able to pick up a little bit of soy sauce and then dip that onto well by releasing it uh, dip that onto your food so that is a very very fancy thing they only produce these ones once they did not reproduce them and i managed to get them right on the very first day when they were still there on the next day the weekend started and they were instantly sold out I only got a limited version of this one so i'm very 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 grateful that i bought it i wasn't sure whether i should buy it at first but then i got i got convinced and i think it was a good thing that i got convinced to get it and if you turn around closer you can i'll again see salem one exhibition the logo right here on the back of it very very cute very pretty you might have seen that there's a third bag this one is actually a third bag that i got on the last day when i went there one more time because i went there like several times because i loved it so much this is not limited specifically to the exhibition but i'm just got thought i want to show you anyways so here uh, you can reorder some of the items that were sold out as far as i know um, so this one is number one and uh, this one is a collaboration from Eats Demo which is like a shop that sells like really convenient goods and as well as a hand gel and you can see it has the Sailor Moon brooch and such on here uh, and it's like to hand sanitize your hands I find it always very very helpful uh, because obviously hand sanitizer you can use in Tokyo then again this one here is a eco bag yay especially in Europe we're so eco-friendly so it's a quite a large bag, shopping bag in there, which is good because you can always use a little shopping bag. It's better for nature and the environment. And again, it has moon and uh, chibi moons. Brooches together. So that's a nice decent size. And finally, the thing that really made me laugh a lot was this one. It's a Sailor Moon face mask. I mean, who came up with this idea? It has like a poly tuxedo mask patch in and also her bow and such on it. So yeah, um, that's quite interesting. So in, in the inside, there's a partly tuxedo mask somewhere in there, and the rest looks like this. Let's have a look at it. I'm quite curious about this. Those face masks are obviously always sold in Japan uh, during flu season, during pollen season. Uh, everyone wears them quite a lot. Ooh, oh, there you go. Whoops. Oh, they all came out at the same time. Didn't want that. So yeah, nice and pink, as you can see. And here is a tuxedo mask on it as well. <laughs> It doesn't have a specific smell or anything. Well, so it doesn't actually smell of anything at all. But yeah, that's the design of the face mask. If you want to uh, rescue the world in style, together with your face mask. <laughs> it says if you find on the mask the hat and the rose from Tuxedo Mask, something good might happen to you or something happy might happen to you. Well, that, that that's cute. I get something good. It's, uh, it's going to happen to us now. You've all seen it, so we can share this goodness. So these were some of the items that I got at the Sailor Moon exhibition in Rapongi, including the keychain that I should have mentioned earlier of Sailor Neptune, right here. So yeah. Ta -da -da. So that was my limited Sailor Moon exhibition goodies haul slash explanation to you uh, out there where in the world you are. I hope they do something similar like this again. But since the Sailor Moon boom is kind of on its way out a little bit right now, we need to see how that goes. I have been to the Sailor Moon exhibition right on opening day. So the video for that is actually on the top right so you can see how it looked on the very first day. And also I have been to the Sailor Moon fan club meeting and met Martina from Ichu Kimichi, which was great as well. So that's also on the top right of the screen be sure to check that out if you love Sailor Moon because there will be more of Sailor Moon here on my channel so I hope you enjoy that leave me a comment let me know what's your favorite scene out of Sailor Moon and uh, looking forward to reading that I'll catch you soon for another video here on my channel lots of love from Japan and I'll catch you soon bye don't forget to like